Okay, so how do people fear to take risks? And why, how does not taking risks keep you in the poverty line? Guys, see, most of the people who are rich, they invest. And investment is taking risk. For example, they take loan and they put it in business. All right? A poor person will take loan and build a house. That is not risking. All right? <laughs> that is not risking. Your building house as a liability is not risking because you believe in your mindset, you believe. I'm not wasting this money. I'm putting it in a house. I want people to get this point very well. I'll, 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 I'll say it again. You see, a rich person will take a loan from a bank and put it in a business. You see, from a poor man's mindset, he feels like, you know, if you put this money in business, maybe business might not do well. You might fail with your business. And then you lose your money. Okay? But <laughs> a poor person believes that when he takes money, he will build his house at home. And he believes that money is not lost. That money has built him a house. If you are wise enough, you will understand what I'm talking about. That's a poor man's mindset. You can never get out of poverty. Remember, the moment you finish building that house, you are okay. You never lost your money. But you will have to pay that money to the bank without getting any interest out of that money. And the bank will not only take that money alone, but they will take extra out of what they gave you. The same time, the guy who invested in business, he will be doing business, getting profit and paying back the bank using his profit from the business. Poor man's mindset. A poor man fears to take risk, believing that he will lose. But in the long run, he consumes what he needed or what he was supposed to use to invest and take risks. He consumes it and he feels like he did not lose. That is how we fear to take risks. Okay, guys. Number two, we Africans have believed that you've got to go through 844 for you to become better. So what does a poor man does? A poor man has got a farm. You've got a land, okay? The only asset in your home is that land. Or maybe the only asset in your home is a cow. You've got a cow at home. And your kid has passed Education has passed high school, wants to go to college. The only thing that the poor man has left is his cow or his land. Then because the poor man believes that it's only through school that his son can survive, can have a better life, they sell the only land, the only asset, and take all that amount of money and pay school fees. The kid graduates comes out and comes back to your home and sits back with you, waiting to be employed. A poor man doesn't want to take risks. How do you take risks in such a situation? If you have a mind and the only thing that you have is an asset, as the land, you will either lend that land, okay? Lend it out. Or, after selling this land, put that money in another asset. Asset that can profit you. So from the profit, you can pay the school fees. When the kid is finishing, getting out of school, he has a business already. He has something to do that that money has been keeping for him. We are never told this. When I came to Bahrain, um, I met a very good friend of mine, a Bahraini friend, and we were just having a chat. And um, then I was telling him about the piece of land that we have, I have back at home. And he was really wondering, how could you be kind of a piece of land and you still seeing yourself as, you know, middle class or you don't have wealth enough to keep you 
going. It was hard for me to explain, but he gave me a lesson of my life. You know, he told me that, you see, I just graduated now and I'm 42. You see, I never went to school until I knew why I was going to school. I did not go to school because my parents wanted me to school. I did not go to school because it is the only way out. But I went to school to learn what I was lacking. The little assets we had, we put it in business. And I was learning business. And in the process of doing business, I saw that the, our business was growing. So I needed skills on how I can manage the family business. And the only way to get those skills was to go to school. So I went to school to, be, to learn leadership and management just to come back and manage this business. Not going to school so that I can come back to start looking for a job. But for us, we go to school and come back looking for a job. You know, the system hasn't told us that the best thing that we need to do is like when you want to go to school, you need to go to school knowing that I lack something, not knowledge. Guys, knowledge, you can get knowledge anywhere. In fact, in today's generation, you just need a computer or a mobile phone and you can get all the knowledge. The only thing that is very difficult, if you want to become a doctor, you want to become a nurse, you want to become an engineer, you have got to go through processes. But you know, somebody wasting a lot of time going to school to do business administration and you do not have a place already that you know I'm coming back to do my admin work or something. Business management. And you don't have a business you want to come back and manage. You're wasting your time. It is hard to say this. It might look unreal, but I can tell you for sure, you're wasting your time. Because by 2025, those skills are, will be rendered useless. If you do not have your own that you want to manage, you're wasting your time. Get that money into a business somewhere. Do business. Then go to school from your business and learn how to manage your business. That's it. Take risks with the only asset you have. Stop wasting your asset, putting it... You know, the African mindset, we have been... The system told us, the system gave us this. It came from the whites. It came from the outside of Africa. This is a Western culture that is imposed on us, which they don't also do. Trust me, they don't do it. <laughs> See, the Western culture, a kid, they look at their child when the child is still young. And they know very well that this kid is very good and, or in art. And that kid is nurtured. His talent as an art, artist is nurtured from the young age and he becomes an artist. They look at this kid and they see this kid is a footballer. Go to UK, go to USA, go to even here Bahrain. What do they do? They take their kids depending on what they have seen from the beginning of their growth. But what did they give us? What did they give us as, as a, you know, we call it a curriculum? You have to go to primary school, go to secondary school, finish, go to college, finish, go to university, finish then come back with papers in hand or in briefcase, walking miles looking for a job. Until when? Until when, guys? That is a poor person living in poverty. It will be very difficult for you to get out of poverty when that is the kind of 